again, he's never been accused of having the NHL's highest standards. In fact, when he first arrived in Toronto last year to play for John Brophy, landing a punch was a condition of employment. He didn't know how to use me. He uh, just wanted me to go out there and uh, get in a scrap or bust someone's head open. You know, that was a... Uh, but Brophy, you know, nothing against Brophy. That was just the way his, his style of coaching was. Dougie Carpenter, he's... Uh, he wants me to play the tough physical role that Brophy wanted, but he also wants me to play the play the game also. Because of the hockey knowledge and the good hands that he has and because of the physical attributes that he has, I think he's an asset to our hockey club. Carpenter's confidence in Cordick has paid off. The Leafs had gone 0 for 26 on the power play until John tipped one in against Detroit on Saturday. He followed that up with another goal Sunday night against the North Stars. But since he is who he is, the penalty minutes will pile up. The latest misconduct involved an alleged obscene gesture that got him thrown out of the game in Minnesota. But Cordick pleads innocent, insisting he was simply realigning things in a manner not unlike Dave Steve's famous hitch move on the pitcher's mound. I think he thought I was doing a gesture or something, but uh, no, I wasn't. I was just um, putting my equipment back into place. The process of adjustment is going more smoothly with his fellow Leafs. Cordick has helped turn games around a couple of times with his aggressive style. He's also started to turn the tide of fan abuse that started rolling in as soon as he arrived in Toronto after the Russ Courtnell trade with Montreal last November. At the beginning, you know, I expected it, but then it, it got on and on, and this year started, and it started up again, and, uh, you know, it's just something that you, they tell you to don't listen to the crowd and key it out, but, you know, it's tough when you hear it uh, night after night after night. As if Kordic didn't have enough trouble playing in a town where he wasn't wanted, he came into this season in the midst of a personal tragedy, and it took the death of his father to turn him around, to lead him to become the kind of hockey player his dad could be proud of. He uh, hated going to work or walking down the street and somebody say, uh, hey, that's uh, John Kordic's father. And, you know, and they'll go, he's a goon, and he's a, he's a muscle head, he's a cement head, you know. He didn't like to hear that about his son. And, uh, you know, I know uh, before he died, my father said to me, uh, you know, when he was at the hospital and he was sick, he only had a couple of days left, he said, uh, you know, John, he goes, I, kn I knew you as you were when you were young, and you could always play the game. He goes, for me, just, just play the game. And uh, he goes, try and prove those people wrong. And I know uh, that's what my father would have wanted. So uh, I'm just trying to, you know, I know he can see me now, so I just want to, kind of make him happy. This is Don Martin for Sportsline.